And hello all of my fellow nerds out there, this is Oracle Nerd Richie, and welcome back once again to Throw Up Club. So, uh, last time we were left with a choice in the elevator, to either let somebody in to help us, or not. And... Well, you can probably tell, you can probably tell from this screen if you guys have played the game, but, uh, we got, our, our body got, uh, Let's just say they got it got possessed by so by someone else. Else, um, I believe I think it is the this is the liability that they were talking about. Also, um, I keep forgetting I keep forgetting the main character's name for some reason. Uh, but Serene, Serene, uh, Serene was was removed from her exemption and she was offered a pill gun by the. By her boss, Jika, or her mentor, Jika, I should say. She just, she doesn't feel right with touching a gun like that. Uh, so, we we were given a choice: we either let the person in to help us or not. I mean, I don't really, I didn't really trust the voice, honestly. I don't really trust it. I don't think it's a good idea to trust anything that you don't know. Uh, but for this, but for this one, we're just gonna go with yes. I just want to see what happens. Oh, it's you! What's rocking, dude? Are ready for that party? How'd the promo go? L later. I need help. Help? Well, let's hear it. What do you need? I... I don't... remember? But I know it was important. Am I forgetting things again? Well, don't take too long. We're starting soon. That's right, the party. I need help. Setting up the decorations? I think? No! Come on, Serene. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Yuffie's bringing the decor. You... You met Yuffie? When did that happen? Uh, earlier today? You were there. You forgot about me? Did you forget again? That must be her. Let her in. But let her in, Serene. You don't, you don't sound like Leda. Let me in, don't let me in. We don't want to be rude, do we? Can you not hear me? Just let her in. She won't bite. The Yuffie I know bites. <laughs> well, this one doesn't. Let her in, Serene. I feel like I shouldn't. Do, do, do I have to? Fine. Are we just sure this is you? Serene! I haven't seen you in forever. So good to see your face again. You remember me? Of course she remembers you. You were here last night, weren't you? We were, but she doesn't remember. She couldn't hear me calling. I called and I called. I cried and screamed. And yet, she heard nothing. I'm still all alone. That's not very nice of you, Serene. Serene! Don't let her speak to you. Don't let her look at you. That is not the girl you know. That's not very nice of you, Yuffie. I think you should be quiet for the rest of the night. Ooh! Yuffie tries to open her mouth, but, but is physically unable to. Much better. Oh, looks like everyone's here. There's no one left. Do not touch the elevator buttons. Just try to ignore the last girl, okay? She's not invited. Ahem. Without further ado, let's get this party started. Here. Let it hand you a lighter. Then from deep in her throat, she pulls out... A slice of cake? Ew. I think I understand why this game is called Throw Up Club now. 
It took me eight episodes, but you know what? I get it. Light the candle. If you bite the whole through this, why why don't you make a sound? Maureen? Water Mama Mama Mar I can't just ignore them both too. I'm trying to ruin the party. Go on. Light the candle. You got your favorite flavor too. Sugar syrup, put two berry on top. Mmm, yummy. Leia calls me Rena. Not Sue. Serene drops the lighter. You're not Leia. Ooh! I never said I was Leia, did I? What does it matter anyway? So what? So what? Who says we can't still have a party? Party. Party. Oh god, cake, cake, cake. Light the candle. Ugh. Between throws the cake at the elevator's floor. I'm not lighting your stupid fucking candle. So you can shove it back down your throat. So you can reach us for the buttons. What are you doing? Opening the door? But, but, but she's not invited. Not invited. Open the damn door. Oh? Here, Matt! Finally, you acknowledged me. What are you doing? I was trying to get out of here. Serene. Serene? You feel the elevator shake aggressively. I said I'm here. And again. Can you not hear me? I'm right in front of you. Stop fucking around. Are you there or what? I said I'm here! Not here, here, dumbass. I was asking if you were with me. So I guess you are moving your lips now. That's a good step forward. I've been stuck in elevator since forever. Do you know a way out? Every time I open the door, someone comes in, but I can't leave. An elevator? Yeah, sure. The elevator. Of course. Give me your arm. Okay. I... I feel horrible? Like... Ugh. Come on, girl. I need you alert. I need you with me. Not in an elevator. In an auto rail. Come on. Ugh. Should be working. I need you. <gasps> there we go. Easy now. Serene. Who? Piamat. The pharmacist next door? I was your anesthe anesthesiologist. Ye yesterday? We met in the hall this morning? Oh, yeah. I remember. That's good. I'm sorry. I'm just... Still waking up? Did I fall asleep? No. That'll tell you what happened. You just got fucking saved, that's what happened. You idiot! You almost fucking lucidated! Dumbass! Still, you would've, would've sent a goon squad after your stupid ass if I hadn't shown up. It's a miracle you even fucking made, made it to the rail with how blitzed you were. Do you remember the trip here? Or have you been stuck in fucking La La Land? Stupid, 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 stupid face! Stop yelling at me! Jeez! Sorry. Be more careful. Not always gonna get... gonna get so lucky. Where'd you find me? I was going to... I was going out for a late dinner. And I found you passed out inside the auto rail... Auto rail I called. I'm glad I did. I... I'm glad too. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. Let's get you somewhere safe first. My apartment? Are you kidding? In this state? The back of your head is literally one giant bloody mess. So no, you're coming over to my place instead. I'll give you proper treatment. I already hooked you up with stabilizers and some local pain, pain numbers. 
You might be, be alright, but you're absolutely not. You need attention before the magic wears off, and you start screaming. I could call my doctor, Elena. Did you not hear me? I said I would give you treatment. I'm a pharmacist. Don't you want free drugs? But free? I said free. Alright, alright. Um, give me your arm and lean on me. But I'm way taller than you? Surely I won't crush you. Shut it. Shutting it. <laughs> P-Man helps Serene back to her apartment. Though it's obvious she struggles to hold your weight, she, she never once falters. Ooh! That's pretty cool. So, welcome to my place. What? Apartment's gorgeous. Looks kind of garish in here. My head hurts. <laughs> I never knew what this room looked like. I had no clue this room was so pink. It wasn't when I moved in. Now, can you sit over there? On your bed? Yeah. What? It's not weird if you don't make it weird. <laughs> I like your weird. <laughs> oh, come on. That's, that's too funny. That is too funny. Hmm. You're right. You're right. Serene sits down. Mm-hmm. Hang tight. I'm gonna go grab stuff from my workshop. Don't touch anything. Okay? Don't move around or follow me. Okay. Good girl. I'll be right back. Oh, and... I, uh, added my contact info to your U-phone you, you, while you were out. Okay. It's bad. It's really plush. Girl loves her comfort, I guess. Who doesn't like comfort? I can see your workshop from here, but... Can't see PM anywhere inside. She must own her own more than the, than these two rooms. She's gotta have carrot credit. I'm using a light switch for her workshop. Oh, what's this? A USB? Donation turnover. I don't really understand it, but I'll get it anyways. I set it back. Ooh. Wait, what was the... I literally just... Oh, no, it's 5.1. 5. 5 donation turnover for LW237. Donation turnover for L LW237. Kama, Nareen on the 1st, Amy on the 2nd, Yarna on the 4th, Banda on the 5th. Batelli on the 12th, Hama on the 14th, Gemma on the 15th, Varuva. Quilo, Piamat on the 26th, Marcy, Suli on the 23rd, and Lori on the 40th. Not sure, not sure how that helps me, but... Okay. Oh, I still have Pushy! Pushy is said to protect scare girls. A pool a pool slug plushie made by, Hallus made by Hallucine. For, for Kimmy, and then gifted to you. Uh, black elastic. All right. It's a holder overflowing with materials. What small AC? These are books on modeling. I'm not the fashion type either. These are probably good bench bench for sitting over there. I wonder why she had me sit on the on her bed. 
Alright. Let's not wait for it to return then. Actually, let me check the U phone. New messages. Later. How'd the promo go, girl? I shipped, I shipped you your favorite cake. Favorite cake for the party, by the way. Hope you slept well. We can have a little online party once you're back home from the promo, okay? Buzz me while you're on the R rail so I can hype you up, dude. Oh, that was from before. Yuffie. How when we get home, Squiddy? I want to hear if we got part the partnership. Okay, I guess we wait for PMAT then. Oh, Jesus, my eyes. You wait for PMAT to get back. Peanut enters the room carrying a, ste a steamy crock pot with both hands and a trenchy sketch satchel over, over her shoulder. Hey Sue. Hey Piamat. Please, you're in my home. Call me Matty. Matty then. Righty. Um, your food's getting cold. Would you like to dig in? Uh, that's for me? Sure is. You missed dinner. So I made so I made some jamb jambalaya for you. Hope you like zipper fish. You know what? Gimme! Any food is better than no food. I was gonna say. Sure do. Sweeney holds out her hands to grab it, but PMF places the crock pot in her lap. I'm gonna check check you out now, okay? Sweeney nods. Peanut sits down behind you and sifts through your hair on the back of your head. I'm gonna give you some additional local meds first. No eating for, no eating for a seki, okay? Okay. Ugh, how do you feel? Uh, dizzy. Good. How's your tongue feel? Is it numb? Ugh, oh god, don't don't give me those freaking visions. Ugh, no, stop that. That hurts my eyes. No. Good. You can eat. Uh, Alright. PMAT continues to look over you. You're pretty messed up. You need stitches in a few areas. She grips the back of your head firmly. And staples in the- staples in one. Staples? Yeah. You have a small skull fracture. You'll have a permanent bump. Will they hurt? The staples? With the meds? Nah. But I'll say you up first, just make sure that they're, they're in full swing uh, when we do the staples, okay? Thank you. It's no issue. Shit, Serene, I'm glad you can't see this. I'm starting, and I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna have to move Pushi out of the way. Thanks. You feel pressure at the back of your head. So tell me, what gives? Gives? What do you mean? Cause this. What made you panic? Must have been something pretty bad. Work. Are they removing that exemption from your name tag? They are. Well, shit. It's too much for you. I mean, just look at yourself. You should quit before it gets worse. I can't. People rely on me. I just have to adapt until I can handle it. For their sake. Or does that mean? Or does that sound like crazy talk? Peanut wraps her arms snugly around you from behind. No. I understand perfectly. So let's go. Sorry. If you think you can do it, then do it. Just don't lose yourself in the process. And those people you don't want to disappoint, make sure you're not doing it out of guilt. But out of love for them. Alright? Out of love. Oh, and if you want to say something, now's the time. This might take a moment. Hmm. You said you needed me. What's that mean? Ooh, I feel like that's important. What is that? You said you needed me. What does that mean? Earlier tonight, when I woke up, you said something to me. That you needed me? What was that about? I meant that I needed you to wake up. 
That's not what I heard. Oh, really? You're gonna trust what you heard? When you were totally gorked on the floor of an auto rail thinking it was an elevator? Fair point. Mm-hmm. What's it like being a pharmacist? You're a pharmacist, huh? So, are you like... Uber smart? PMI takes a deep breath. Pharmacy is a multidisciplinary trade. We have to study diseases, symptoms, existing medications, side effects of existing medications, interactions between drug ingredients, recreational drug interactions, the creation of medicine, medication safety, how to do safe, safe drug trials, legality of drugs and side effects. You have to keep up with the new releases all across the clinic. You have to know all of them from locum pink releases. You know, you have to know the stuffing interactions of all kinds. Marketing, we we have to make connections, sell our branded meds. <laughs> we find doctors to partner with us, those who are willing to sign exclusively with us. But, but even signed doctors can't keep up with private medication labels. So we have to, to get mul multiple jobs and work in the and, and it's the all Anesthesiologists and nurses on demand. You have, you have to be in or in OR rooms for important operations because they're, you're the only expert on your drugs. If you falter, boom. Ex exclusivity, exclusivity, gone. Your pharm pharmaceutical future, gone. Surgical emergencies can't wait on you. But that's assuring you even get signed to a doctor or OR room. How do you even accomplish that? How does, it get a doc How does one get a doctor to risk their business for on your medication? What do you do when you're fresh out of the trade school? Uh... What is it? Nothing. I didn't get to respond to that. Maybe I probably didn't have to respond to it. Like, sometimes you don't really have to say anything. I'm gonna stick with that, just in case. You can do nothing. Your impact was... E was either already felt by the time you graduated from trade from trade school, or you don't exist. You're either a prodigy from the start, or you won't get hired. Nobody will take or trust your meds. That, or you go to some to some shady place and sell your ex expensive drugs for a li linoleum credit, or try to open an, an over-the-counter drugstore, but you'll lose out the, out to drugstores selling a variety of of known brands. Either way. You won't be able to afford good ingredients or, or supply dealers, or supplier deals. So then what? You dry up. That's what. Pima inhales deeply. So you either project from the beginning, or you keep tre treading water as for as long as you want to make a living, or you're gone. That's how it is. That's what it's like being a pharmacist. It's owning a private pharmacy, making your own meds, working twenty. 24-4 on, on call, on call to multiple doctors as their exclusive anesthesiologists and more. Only to still worry every moment about the inevitable, inevitable day you can't make a call, lose your exclusivity, and lose your livelihood in an instant. So, you are like uber smart then. I guess. <laughs> you could have just said, yeah, I'm uber smart. Peanut size. Yeah, I guess I'm a little smart. What's it like having such a big brain? <laughs> a big brain and tiny. But honestly, it's exhausting. My brain moves so fast at times that it's hard to slow down. It's hard to just stop and enjoy things. I'm not making I'm not making meds. I'm still work still working my hands on hobbies. If I stop, I get antsy, uncomfortable. I can't just sit with my own thoughts. Mary. That sounds tiring. Yeah. PMAC grabs the hem of your shirt and gives you a small tug down. Sometimes, I wish I could just stop. You know? I wish I could just throw everything away and just breathe. But my head doesn't like that. What does it do? Worry. Worry, 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 worry. 
fall into things, wants and desires, deeper and deeper until wants become obsessions, until they become much, just as much of a headache as the things I run away from. What I've found helps the most with, with runaway thoughts is having someone there for you. Someone to talk to, to occupy your mind with, someone to do things with. If only I had the time for friends. Maybe after my first retirement. Sorry, nods. Hey! Don't move your head. Oh, right. Sorry. Why are you doing this for me? So, I've gotta know. Why are you do helping me out so much? You show me a lot more care than I that I care tonight than a friend would. And you're normally, I don't know, cold to people? I mean, you're giving me free meds and everything. You even made me food. Which, to be honest, I thought might be poisoned. But just for a moment. Something just doesn't add up. I... I try to keep my distance. From people. From everyone. But... Seeing you... Like you were... On the auto rail... It was horrible. It set something off in me. Something... Instinctual? Visceral? Piamat shook her head. What are you doing, Piamat? She sighs. Are you alright? Yeah, just... Shouldn't get attached. Why? I think you make a great friend. Piamat lifted her head, letting the light hit her eyes in a way that made them so seem so... Glossy. You can see her pupils clearly. Hands... My... Kimat's mouth quivers. She's holding something in. She shakes her head again. Can I come back over sometime when, when I'm not hurt? We could- No! Sorry. I- I take it back. You- You can come back. We'll make you food again? I- I'm sorry. Here, Matt, you don't need to apologize. I Honestly, I really kind of like Pia Matt. She's pretty cool. She looks to me as a verge of tears. Oh. Then I will. As long as the food is still isn't poisoned. Pia Matt chomps up, chomps up, chops you on the shoulder. Hey! It's not poisoned. Alright. It's not poisoned. And it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. She, she resituates. That was close. Good save, Serene. I shouldn't get her emotional, though. Especially when she's stitching in my head. Uh, let's wait for her to finish. Wait for Pia Match to finish- Pia Match to finish stitching you up. All done. You're stitched up. And since your pink is outdated, I made sure to disinfect the area before and after. So then. Mm-hmm. Time for the staples. Lay flat, stomach down. Okay. Serene so lays on the stomach. Like, I wonder, is this what getting staples is like? Because, like... Because, like... Okay, a bit, bit of a story time with me is that when I was younger, uh, my grandmother and my mother actually went out to go shopping. My grandmother fell, and she got and she got a huge-ass uh, huge uh, injury on her head. She had to get, like, a few staples to get it fixed. To get it fixed. Uh, my gosh, she was, it, it was awful. Let's, uh, let's just say it was awful, okay? I'm not gonna go into it. It's, it's something I don't like talking about. She could almost fall asleep between the bed and the drugs. L like this? Yep. You feel PMAC climb out to the bed and sit on your back, strad straddling your waist. Is this necessary? It's how it's done, given that, given that you're not knocked out. Now stay still. Okay. Pima takes Pushi and shoves and shoves her mouth against yours. Shushy. No moving your head. <laughs> Pushi says shushy. <laughs> you feel a couple of light pets. Good too. Hold your breath. Don't That has to that has to hurt, right? He may get off you. 
You're all good to go, Sue. That's all? That's all. Unless I can convince you to let me take a picture. Of? The stitches? No. Just of you. Why not the both of us? Why not both of us? Together. I want to remember the good parts of this weird night, too. He met smiles warmly, warmly for what seems like the first time. Thank you, Sue. Serene smiles back. Alrighty. p -Mat pulls out a small, a small camera with bunny ears. Aw, it's cute! And then sits on her bed and presses right up against you. She feels so densely soft. But in a good way. Like a soft weighted blanket. Say something you love. Oh come on, you can't! You can't make me choose like that! It's all their names, and then sugar, and then sugar syrup cake. Ah, <laughs> uh, basically, do we want to? Honestly, I kind of like Pia Matt. She's pretty cool. Like, she's honestly one of my favorite characters in the game, aside from Serene. Uh, you know, I just, you know, I just to tease her a little bit. Just a teaser a little bit. Why not? Matty! He might snaps the photo. Matty. He might covers her mouth with a sleeve. Matty, huh? Yep. Matty. Haven't you heard? There was this one night when things got really bad for me. But she saved me. <laughs> what was he talking about right now? <laughs> Did she now? Pima stands up from the bed. And holds a picture up for both of us both to see. Cute. It's so cute. I'm gonna hang on to this. Pima giggles a little. Thank you. Uh, of course. Oh and I'll send the skin of it to you skin of it to you after you leave. I don't wanna keep you there. There any here any later than I already have. Pima begins to clean up their equipment, placing it placing it back in her quaint satchel. But she but she suddenly pauses when she notices something inside. Oh, one last thing before you go. Take this. Pima gave you a unique stabilizer. Pima hands you a syringe from from within her satchel. What is it? A special kind of stabilizer. One I made. Don't use it willy-nilly, though. It's non-standard. Pima Stabilizer. A special non-standard stabilizer can capable of saving even those who are far gone. Pima said to only use this when it's too late for normal stabilizers. Okay, I'll be sure to remember that. It functions very differently from what you're used to. It'll save you, even if you start lucidating. But it's a last resort, okay? Only use it if the standard ones are too late. Got it. And... Thanks a ton. Like, a ton. Not just for this. But for all of tonight. Without you, I would've... Pima uses her hand to close your mouth, placing her finger over your lips. Shushy. You'll make the stitches fall out if you talk anymore tonight. What? Just kidding. She holds the same finger against her own lips. But you really just don't have to say a thing. Thing. Thank you for letting me help. Now get out of here. You got something important tomorrow, don't you? Can't have you losing sleep. That's right, the time! So he rushes out the door. Thanks again, Maddie. Oh, hello. Pima picks up Pushi off the bed and looks at, looks at, and looks her softly in the buttons. I'll have to return you back to Mama sometime, huh? But just for the moment, Pima lifts Pushi into a long kiss. Right in the spot where she presses, presses her lips to Serene's lips. You're so warm. 
But I can't have you, can I? It's just not right. Oh. Ah, my eyes! Serene, in the meantime, in Loska Multiplex. I've gotta get to bed. I need to get my key. Oh. I forgot, equipped them, and then use them. Before Serene opens the door, she notices a small box by her door. Is this? I a present from Leda. This is cake? Oh. Must be from Leda. I'll have to thank her soon. If I can get that image out of my head. It's so dark in here. Who? What the? Well, hello, Serene. Side! I was, I was spiraling, fucker. You again. Who are you? How did you get in my room? Get the fuck out of my home. Whoa. Careful there, girly. Don't want to pop your stress tube to berry again, do we? How's your head? Did you get stunted? Did you get the stunted creep to kiss it better? Fuck off. You're not here. You're not real. Oh, I'm real, girly. I'm as real as it gets. Good. Then I'll call Sterling. I'll get Jika to come here and wipe the floor with you. The girl slides off the top of your dresser onto the floor. She approaches you with a steady gait. There's not an ounce of worry in her eyes. You don't want to do that, Serene. Give me one reason why I won't. How about several? I'm embedded in you. Noticed, didn't you? The flower? It's my lucid gift. You and me? We're joined at the stomach. Uh, the fine is that Sterly won't be able to... Won't be able to pry me out. At least, not without ruining you. Permanently. You underestimate Holocene and Mume. You underestimate me. If you decide to bite the bullet and dislodge me from your guts, I'll squash every single person you ever cared about in a fine pink paste. I'll pull out a little Kimmy's head and spine so clearly that she'll be she'll be painfully aware of it all. Swing backs up until she has to close the door. You're bluffing. I am Sidine. I'm Sindine. Sindine. Sindine? Sindine? Hold up. Uh, uh, where are those pronunciations? Uh, pronunciations. Uh, Where is it? Wait, her na wait, her name's not here. Her name, her name is literally not here in the list. It's literally not here in the list. That's so weird. I am indomitable, unstoppable, unshakable. I am unyielding. But if you cooperate with me, this doesn't have to be difficult for you. In fact, quite the contrary. So you best be on your best behavior. What could a liability possibly want from me? Are you the one who infiltrated Sterling? Sindine smirks. I don't give a shit about, Ster about the Sterling Crusade. So no. I did get inside, though. To get to you. There's something I want from you. Then take it from me and leave me the fuck alone. Oh, no, no, no. It's gonna be way more involved than that. I need your long-term cooperation. Then why did you take my stabilizers? I could have lucidated. I could have been scotched. I could have been binned. Unnecessary lesson, Serene. 
Humility. Believe it or not, I like to help you. You obviously can't handle stress. And you absolutely can't handle Sterling's demands. You know you can't. But you'll push yourself anyways. That's just who you are from what I've seen. You're bound to end up in a situation far worse than what, ha than what happened tonight. A situation you can't come back from with, with just a few stitches and staples. That's why I had to do it. I needed you to reconsider things. By bashing my head against the sink? Hell no, you're a psycho! Reconsider what? What else do you would you would you have me do? Just give up? Yes. Leave Sterly. Sinine places a palm of her hand against her face, the other on her hip. Quit Sterly and work for me work with me for a time. And then what? Then you can go back to your traumatizing job. I'll even top you up a little, so you don't have to disappoint everyone when you go back. Sounds good, doesn't it? That's because it's the only reasonable option you have. You know it, don't you? You aren't you aren't fit for Sterly as you are. And everyone here knows it. My answer is no. I'll I'll find my own way to handle my struggles. I don't need your help. And you can't bully me into quitting a livelihood I've worked so hard for. I'm fine just as I am. I'm just fine as I am. Even the retainer bullies in me. And she watched me grow for two years. So don't act like you know me better. Because if you did, you know that, that I don't negotiate with my abilities. Not so hasty, Serene. You'll want to hear out my request first. Don't you think? Only if it'll make you fuck off. You're cutting into my sleep time. So spit it out. Serene. Do you not want to remember? Remember? Remember what exactly? Your past. Your family. What happened to you? Don't you want to remember who you are? I want you to remember. Have I got your attention now? Good. You see, there is a key. And I want it. You were the last person to have possession of it. Two years ago. If I can jog your memory, then perhaps we could find it. Together? By the end, you'll remember everything you've forgotten. And I'll have my key. It's a win-win kind of deal. I... I want to know, but I can't just throw away my current life chasing the past. Yes, you can. Your current life is going to get you binned. You're back into a corner. You know it's your only option. So stop playing coy with me. Oh, whoops. I haven't remembered a thing since I woke up with amnesia. And yet, somehow, so certain that you want to make me remember? I have methods. They're worth a try, aren't they? See? We can get along. I'll even play nice and let you think about it. For a time. You have one week after your next job to decide. And then, I'll try to convince you in other ways. Okay, I'm gonna save here in case she interrupts me again. What exactly does the flower do in me do? The flower you put inside of me. What does it do? It's my lucid gift. I can plant a flower inside someone and enter them, in a way. While I'm in someone, I can only be experienced by them. No one else can touch me. I can hear their thoughts when I want to. I can even act through them, but they have to be willing. That's why I prefer cooperation between us. You might need my help during during our outings. And what would happen if I were to just 
pull the flower out. <laughs> Good luck. For someone as threatening as you are, you, you've got a pathetic lucid gift. I've heard of people who can level room stacks with, on a whim. I've heard of someone who could debone a woman from, the, from a distance by pulling the pieces out of their own... Jesus Christ! What is this world? You somehow think you can best my friends? The same people who deal with these kinds of liabilities daily? The retainer is my boss, you know. She could chew someone like you up and spit you out in a heartbeat. You're right. I've got a I've got a bargain bin gift. But it's also my but that's also my my catch. I don't need lucidation to get the job done. I don't fear the retainer. I don't fear anyone. Is that arrogance I'm hearing? Or delusion? It's not arrogance when it's true. So it's delusion. Do you really want to test that theory? Why are you being so transparent with me? I told you already. I want your cooperation. What is this key? Anyways, you don't need to know. What if it's important to my past? I don't give a shit. How do you plan on convincing me if I refuse? You said you'd convince me to join you if I if I still refuse after a week? How? Finally. Figures. Consider it, will you? It doesn't sound like I have much of a choice. Then consider how cooperative you'll, you'll become if you do refuse me after the week ends. I'll be going dormant inside of you for the time being. You mean you're not leaving? Oh no. No, no. I won't leave your stuffing, ba stuffing bag until my time with you is over. So buckle up, Buttercup. Great. Also, one last thing before we go. Sending pulls out the Mary Quarry box off your wall. What? Who touched that? Uh-uh, I'll be taking this thing as collateral. Are you dis- Are you- Are your disgusting threats really not enough? I don't want you thinking they're bluffs and and snitching me out to Jika. That would be very messy. Yeah, you're such a bitch. Sindain smirks. Remember, one week. Au revoir, Alisu. Uh, am I alone? Soon sighs and slumps down on the floor. She places a hand over her face. And in time, she has begun to peek through her, through her fingers. And her tough back drops. I, I held out. Good, good job, Serene. Just get, just like Jika taught you. Never let them know you're scared. Is, is, Sin, is Sindine really capable of what she says? I... what... what do I even do if she's not bluffing? Can she actually hear my thoughts? If she wants to? So I can't even come up with a plan then? I can't help myself. She's just trying to play mind games with me. What am I supposed to do? What can I do? Is there even a right move to make? I have to decide something quickly. But I, but how do I know what's, what's the right choice? What if my friends really are, in, are on the line? What if I try to get help? If I try to get help, they could... All I can really do is hope that Jika will take notice. She has to. She'll help me, right? Serene stands up wobbly and makes her way to the bathroom. Most of the bathroom falls in. There's really nothing I can do about it, huh? I'm exhausted. I want today to end. I want to wake up the next day to call f to a call from Chica. And for the day of my phone to say the seventh. I want to be told this whole day was just a dream. But it's not. Is it? 
I stuck in the present, in the now. I wish I could erase it all. I wish I could go back to auditing and mess and messing with Yuffie. No. Sweet slaps her cheeks a couple times. Gotta get myself together. The only way forward is front is in front of me. And I'll figure it out. Because I have to. Because I don't have any other choice. I'm not going to fold. I'm not She's full of shit. What the hell does she know about me? Nothing. And even if she did, I'm stuck with the problems I've got. So I might as well try to make things better, right? The only way I'll have a chance is to things going right is to is to keep pushing, even if it doesn't make any sense to. Because it's the only way that's that's even possible. You can do it. You got this. I'll do my best tomorrow. And it will be enough. I can handle it. And then Sindayan will be wrong. And Jigo will help me, right? She'll notice. She will. She has to. I have to trust her. I still hate that ringtone. Soon he stands up in the tub. Takes her phone off the sopping spot. Out the sopping pocket. Whoa. Monkey, it still works. Maybe I should... Maybe I shouldn't have take. I should. Maybe I should have taken my clothes off before I ran the water. Huh? Hello? Oh. Thank Mary. Oh, Chica. I should have called sooner. I'm sorry. Swing braces were scolding. I'm just glad you picked up. I called multiple times in the last hour. Really? I, uh, didn't get any until now. There's no missed calls from Leda or Yuffie, either. Strange. Are you okay? You're kind of... muffled? Yeah, I just got some, uh... Uh, water, uh, in, in my phone. In your phone? How do you... Don't ask. Got it. Well, how are you, uh, feeling? Shaken up. Yeah. You can do it, though. Did... Did you call me to give me a pep talk, Chica? Is there a problem with that? No. I'm just surprised. I told you I was going to bridge the gap. This is how I'm starting. I really appreciate it, actually. You should... Keep a close eye on me. Done. You know what I've always... What I've always told you. Eyes open. Closing them won't take won't make the problem disappear. You can practically hear Jiko smiling through the phone. That's right, Serene. Make me proud tomorrow. I will. I know. Have a good night, Sue. You too. I hope she'll notice. Serene heads to bed. Serene holds her phone up. Later the screen hits her face. My friends are probably asleep by now. Wonder how many calls I missed. I'll call them in the morning. Serene turns over. My mind won't stop racing. Serene grabs her phone and calls the CW radio line. I've all called in. Great work on the letters. We'll be reviewing them shortly. Before then, it's time for tonight's bedtime stories with Nona. That's right. <laughs> it's like meow. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so snuggle up and. Yuki note, make your save now for disc two. So we just off to sleep. Oh. Oh, cause like, cause this is disc one. Disc two isn't out yet. At least I don't think this two, this two is out. You feel your hands pried softly in your face, revealing Serene's closed face. Serene's closed face and smile. Oh wait, did it loop again? She leans against the wall of the elevator and leans her body on, the, on her lap. She keeps one hand on the side of your face, keeping your hand away from behind your palms. 
wish we could say that's forever. Just you and me. But we're unlucky, aren't we? Even when else, they might have, they might have not had the strength to get here, though. But you might, you might decide I can do anything, and I will. I have something for you. Oh. Okay, yeah, so it just loops back to the beginning of the game, I'm assuming. Um, I think that's gonna do it for Throw Up Club for now. Um, uh, at least until this 2 comes out. This, this, this story is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I, I really, I really like the development of the character Serene. I like that they did a, a whole, uh, like, I'm a part of you now sort of, sort of plot, plot. And it just, it just feels cool, in a sense. But... That's going to do it for Throw Up Club for now, at least until this 2 comes out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment what you think, share this video with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to the bell so you don't miss a single notification. See all of you in the next video. Goodbye. You say you want to try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason.